All right, good day everyone. It's a pleasure having you in our channel. We have been very much busy for a long time and um, we want to start a new cycle now. And this time around, we want to go deeper with some things that we want to share with you so that we all can be on the same page. And for those of us that have been that have registered for a mentorship program who are far away who are not close by um, some have been coming around those who are within for that course to add a glance to what we are doing and it's fantastic because they are learning but for those who are far away you can still learn from us like the the, the hashing we want to demonstrate right now this is what we use and the fish actually weigh 4.5 kg so if you are making use of ovulin or overprint you just need to help yourself and check the the dosage prescription on the on the bottle but if you can't see it like i'm trying to check this one whether it's written here if you can't see it what we normally use is 0.5 meter per kg so if your fish is weighing like 3 kg, that means you're going to make use of um, 1.5 mil of the hormone. Okay? So if you are making use of 4.5 kg, like the female that we're about using, you need to divide it by 2 and use the equivalent in mil for your work. So what I want to stress now is blue stock management. Blue stock management. Blue stock management. Blue stock management. So now let me explain further. For those of you that got our material, in our material, you carefully uh, stress more on what blue stock is and how you can maintain them. But let me still touch light it for emphasis sake. Blue stock are parental stock. When I mean parental stock, they are fish that we use that are well matured for production okay and then for the female it is expected that the female should be above 18 months old then for the male it is expected that the male should be above 9 to 12 months old so there are some males that within 9 months they are viable okay so but let me stress something now one of the major mistakes which many breeders are doing start from here so that's why I'm doing this video to stress it. And what is that mistake? The mistake is that it is not every fish that uh, within this range that can be used for blue stock. So blue stock are fish that are carefully selected because of the following characteristics. One, the ability to grow very, very fast. Then secondly, the ability, they have resistance to infection. They have resistance to disease. So, so that when you are producing you are you are you are you are promoting fish that can grow fast fish that can grow healthy so when you use them and hash you can see that your fries are very much energetic and all with and what are the dons in selection of blue stock one of the dons is that you avoid inbreeding inbreeding is when you are using both male and female from the same parent for example now you buy fish from a farm and you now raise them up and you discover that some of them have eggs that you can use you now use the female and the male that is inbreeding that is typical inbreeding it's a big no when you come to this work because if you are not careful look at the result you will get either you lose all your fries or you can have fries that are that are having some physical malfunction. Maybe they will not have thin, they will be lacking some, some, some properties. So to avoid inbreeding, what we do, we encourage people to do more of raising female because um, transportation of female is always risky. But for male, you can go far and buy a male. So while raising this of female, you need to feed your female with feed that are rich in protein. One mistake that people make is that some people still give their blue stock um, 9mm 
So you have to try everything you can to give your fish food that the CP is very high. What we need average of 40 food protein. Okay? So there are companies that actually supply special food for blue stock. So those feed normally help the egg to mature very well. So let me tell you something so shocking. So now if you are feeding your fish with 6 mm, 9 mm, you should know that this 9 mm and this is mm and 9 mm don't have the basic things that blue stock needs because they have more of carbohydrate, which is not what they need for healthy development of their garment. So in the other sense, what you are raising is not blue stock, you are just raising table size. So you need to go and correct that. First way that will have um, a strong effect on what we have been doing. Okay? So to know more, to go deeper, I will encourage you to either get our material. You can see this material. This is Mastering Cartridge Reading. Um, it's written by us and it's rich. What I'm teaching you, we are all here. You can either get the hard copy or you pay for the soft copy. We will, be, um, we will send it to you via WhatsApp. Okay? Alright, so... Today's date is... Um, 22nd of July. Today's date is 22nd of July, 2023. So, I will encourage you to follow our cycle. We will give you an update from the 1 to the 20. Or if we like, we can extend it to one month old. Okay? Just that um, sometimes we dispose our fish as three weeks. So, we normally stop our cycle there. Okay? So, one of the things that I will be showing you now, we'll be doing a live demonstration. And then, um, okay, let me, talk, let me talk some things that you need to take note of. How to know blue stocks that are very good. One, I will encourage you, one, if you know you are not giving them food rich in protein, to me, you are not raising blue stock. But if you know you are taking proper care of them, let me write this thing very well. For those of you who are following, we have white, we have green, we have um, golden green, we have gold, we have brown. You see, this color, these are the expected color when you are checking for blue stock. This white color is a no-go area. This green, your fish will hash, but they will die within one week. Okay? This golden green is good color. But gold color is very good color. These are perfect color that are ideal for you to get optimal results. So when you take proper care of a blue stock, they're going to have this. Then when you are seeing brown color, it means that your fish are about to shed the egg. So at times even this brown, it's not all of them that we have for you. So but when they hatch out, they will be strong. So but it's a mixture of um, fertile ones and some that are white. So I will encourage you to always monitor your blue stock. Once you see them turning to golden green and gold, strike at that moment, you're going to have good results. I'm going to be showing you a typical example with the one we want to use. You see the color, very, very super, very, very nice. And um, I would like you to share this video with your friends because we are going to be teaching you how to manage fry in cold weather. You can see it's raining and a lot of persons are not hashing now. But I'm going to be teaching you how you can have a successful result during this period. So, we want to say thank you for following Fish College. We love you. Wherever you are watching us from, we encourage you not to give up in promoting aquaculture. And we will always be giving you the best. We are your researchers. From the results we get, we tell you and show you the way to follow. Okay? So, we want to go get back to the field right now. The female that you want to use you can see how big it is you can see the tummy well loaded but we are not just interested in this though this is one of the characteristics of a blue stock 
but the most important thing is the quality of the egg. So let us see. Now we normally use wet clothes to cover the eyes. Quiet. And down. Quiet. Uh, can you see? Let me put it here. Can you see this color? Can you see it? Can you see? This is golden color. Can you see it? So this is the expected color we are going to use. So this fish was injected yesterday night and um, now we are going to strip it. It's not going to be an easy task but we will try. So right now we are removing the testes, so that's what we are doing and we first of all ensure that the testes is very much good before we can go about the scraping. So that's the testes we are trying to remove. Alright, for those of you who have been following our videos, we have actually repeated this a number of times. and. Uh, when we discover that the test is, is um, very much okay, we can make it of one and suture the fish. And subsequently, we can make use of the second one. But at times like this particular one, we decide to cut the fish so that we can make something good out of the fish. Okay? Alright. So... Uh, we have actually finished collecting the the egg and then um, this is the female is spent now we want to return it back to the pond so you can see the egg the quality so super and that the female is now all spent because we have um, stripped the egg out of it so now it has been returned to each pond and what you are watching right now is collection of the meals called the spam. We call it mute. That's the technology used for fish for aquaculture system. So you're actually extracting the meals, the liquid parts, which will be used for fertilization. And I will encourage you to get some material so that you can be able to differentiate between wet and dry fertilization method. So the dry method you cut directly on the egg but the wet method you mix the milk with saline water before you can pour it on the egg so whichever one you want to follow they are all good we have tried them for a very long time and both of them are very much efficient so why we are actually doing this is our own way of contributing our best to our society it's our own best of adding value to humanity it's our own way of making sure aquaculture practices is being promoted among our youth, among our citizens, among the habitants of this precious world. Especially for those who have been having challenges in their farm, I assure you that if you can carefully follow what we are doing, you are going to learn a lot. So, we are actually testing the quality of the, of the testes. You can see that the milk is so thick, so wonderful. So we drop some and we wash up the other ones in the saline water where we will apply the wet method which is one of the means of fertilization which we have been adopting for a very long time. But nevertheless, as I said, the dry method also is very much offensive. Okay, I believe you are learning something. So if you know you are learning something, why not click on the subscription button, subscribe to this video. Um, like our video, share our video. You can equally send us wonderful comments regarding what we are doing. All right. So we love you so much, and uh, we are sure we are really doing something great here. So this is our new episode for the month of July slash August. So we are going to be running this cycle for a long time. So that those who are following we learn a lot so um 
just beautiful this interesting so fish college remain one of our favorite channel where you can learn fish farming practice live and direct we don't just give you the theoretical aspect we show you the way it is being done i will update you with dates for you to be well correct so in this series we are talking about blue stock management and we are equally going to teach you how to manage fry green during a season okay so right now i'm gonna go to incubate this eggs or fertilize the egg by introducing fresh water so after which we decant and um, we spray the egg so i want to say something that is very much important why spraying the egg you have to be very much careful spread it evenly avoid the overlapping let the egg don't rest on the other so that can be easily done and once you spray them well they're gonna hash well for you okay so don't be too economical about this but you know you don't have enough space look for more space look for more space create more space that you can distribute this egg okay create more space that you can free the egg all right so thank you we love you so let me give you a cool music now a cool music now why this is being done Look, I go bring my spec I do okay like this. We just finished incubating for those of you following us. And like what I was saying, come and take a look at the egg. You can see the color, they are all golden color. Okay. So this is one of the most important things you have to do. You have to be very, very careful with the blue stock you use. So if you have not gotten it right, like by God grace. We are going to give you more explicit um, 
I mean more detailed videos, okay? More detailed videos this time around so that you can watch. So what we're going to do now, you can see this place is open. We are not going to leave it like this. So we are going to put a sheet right now, a temperature sheet that we're going to use for both of them, okay? I'm going to cover it to give it heat so that without heat, it can hurt. Very, very well for that, okay? So remember today is um, 22nd of July. Um, by the grace of God, from tomorrow, June 23rd, it should be coming out, okay? So keep following us, like, share our videos, tell your friends. If you're just watching it today, which might not be the idea day the video was uploaded, I will encourage you, we have a lot of them, we have over 200 videos on breeding. One thing that Fish College try to do is to focus more on catfish breeding challenges. I will owe you the best. So at this point, what we are going to do, we are going to put oxygen tablets in the pond to help to increase the oxygen level and just little quantity of ammonia, our harsh cleanser. Okay, thank you. Good one.